Hello traders, Rich here and here's a quick but detailed update on AUD CAD. As usual, if you like video analysis, let me know in the comments or simply leave a like. So let's get started. As we clearly see, AUD CAD has been overall bad for a while, making lower highs and low lows trading inside this falling brown channel. And we are currently in a correction phase approaching the upper bound of this uh, channel acting as a non-horizontal resistance moreover we've got a horizontal support resistance as you can see it has been holding for a long period of time so it's a massive one and the zone is a strong resistance because it's the intersection of a horizontal resistance and a non-horizontal one that's why as price approaches the zone we'll be looking for trend following sell setups of course unless it's broken upward then a movement to our upper resistance would be expected we'll be looking for sell setups and of course buy setups around this support zone previously a resistance but for now let's take it step by step right overall bearish approaching a resistance let's zoom into lower time frames and look for sell setups we can see that lately we have been bullish trading inside this channel inside this bigger correction phase and now the more we approach the resistance zone the better the setup would be so as per from a trading style for those who know me i'm waiting for a new swing low to form around the lower trend line to consider it valid and then i'll be selling on spring downward and if we dive in inside this resistance zone i'll be also looking for sell setups on lower time frames for example on m30 like a double top pattern or any or like a head and shoulders any bearish reversal setup before we continue, I want to tell you about Tickmill. Tickmill is established in 2014 and is one of the leading Forex and CFT brokers with registered users from more than 200 different countries. Tickmill is a no dealing desk and ECN broker regulated in many countries like the UK, Cyprus, and recently in South Africa. With Tickmill, you can trade a wide range of instruments, starting from Forex to indices, commodities, and even crypto. Most importantly, with very low spreads and trading fees. If you don't have an account yet, make sure to create one using my referral link in the description below to benefit from 5% discounts on your trading fees. And let's continue. As we clearly see, AUDNZD has been overall bearish for a while, making lower highs and low lows trading inside these two red channels. That's why we'll be looking for trend following sell setups as price approaches the upper band, the upper red trend lines uh, acting as a non horizontal resistance. Also, this horizontal resistance zone, as you can see in blue. Moreover, we are currently in a correction phase, so I'm not interested in looking for setups in the middle of nowhere. I'll be waiting for ADNZD to approach this support zone, the lower bound of this channel, to look for buy setups, or just like what happened previously, a consolidation, a bullish movement for the correction to start, and then the next impulse movement started. A consolidation, bullish movement correction to start, and then the next impulse movement started. So I'm waiting for this uh, zone to be broken up, just like here and here, for the correction to start, and then I'll be looking for the setups around the upper bound to catch the next impulse movement downward. So long story short, waiting for this to look for a sell, or waiting for this, it, like, it would be an attractive and strong zone to look for a buy setup. Best of luck, and I'll see you on the next one.